I am here because it's the 75th anniversary of the Air Coupe. Okay, the Air Coupe uh, was developed in the late 30s. And of course, it's the 75th anniversary. 1940 was the year they were certified. And they're just really fun. Um, they're easy to fly. There's no rudder pedals in this one. It's all coordinated. You, you drive it on the ground, you know, with the steering wheel because it's all connected to the nose wheel. So it's unique in that aspect that people don't use the pedals on the floor, which for me means that's how I'm able to fly. I'm the first armless pilot certified to fly with just my feet, no modifications. It's just a neat little plane. You can fly it with the windows open, uh, the windows down on the side. It kind of gives you that open cockpit feel. You know, it's economical. Uh, burn less than five gallons per hour normally, but the normal cruise speed is around 100 knots for most all of them. They made 100 and 110 of them pre-war. This is serial number 38. As far as I know, this is the earliest one flying. Like I said, people look at it and they, they don't know why it's different, but, but they just like it. Flying an air coupe is uh, much like driving a car in the air. I have one right foot on the yoke, and with the cross control, I'm able to use the yoke like a steering wheel and at the same time like a yoke. That was the idea. It would be simple to fly. Everyone would have one. Like I said, it was developed in the late 30s. It's the first plane, certified plane, with uh, tricycle landing gear. It was way ahead of its time. The more, the more research you do about it, you know, the history of it, the, the designer, Fred Wake, he is accredited with being, you know, like the father of the enclosed cowling and the modern nose wheel, and this airplane was, was him. I wanted to become a pilot to, number one, face my fear, and number two, the adventure of doing something new. There were many challenges from the beginning. Uh, the first challenge, what airplane would work? And that's why the air coupe was so beautiful for the purposes of flying for me. In the air coupe community, uh, it's just a real social organization. You get to know people from all over, and, and it's our, sort of like a family reunion every year when we, when we come back. I will be doing book signings all throughout the week at the Ford Tent, and I will be showing my movie called Right Footed and it seemed very appropriate to launch and premiere the movie Right Footed alongside the 75th anniversary of the Air Coupe. Air Venture is all things aviation, so it's just a fun place to come and an annual gathering. Like I said, it's just, we're glad to be here.